Welcome to Electra Online and here we're going to take a look at another example that at first sight does not appear to be an example where you can solve this by partial fractions. It turns out sometimes you have to look a little bit beyond what first appears on the paper. If you make a substitution here, if you say, well, let u equal e to the x. Now, why would we want to do that in the first place? Well, if you try to integrate this as is, you're not going to be very successful because in the denominator you have e to the 2x and if you want to find the differential of e to the 2x, the differential would be e to the 2x dx and you don't have an e to the, do, e to the 2x in the numerator so you can't solve it as is. So we're going to make this substitution and see what happens. So let u equals e to the x, then du dx would equal e to the x and therefore du would equal e to the x dx. So if I now look in the numerator, I have an e to the dx in the numerator which could be replaced by du and if I let, if I let u equals e to the x then from that it implies that u squared is equal to e to the 2x if I simply square both sides and now I'm ready to substitute all that back in here. So this cannot be written as the integral. Instead of e to the x dx, I can write du in the numerator. And instead of e to the 2x, I can write u squared. So I end up with u squared minus 1 in the denominator. Which, by the way, can be written as uh, 1 over u plus 1 times u minus 1 times du. And then you can look at this and go, oh, I know what I, do, what I need to do with that. I can use partial fractions to solve this particular integral. Oh, I make sure I don't forget my integral sign. Okay, so once I have that, I can then say, let's write this. Let's say that 1 over u minus 1 times u plus 1 can be written as a over u minus 1 plus b over u plus 1. And got a little out of hand there. Okay, so then what I want to do next is solve for a and b, and I can do that by multiplying both numerator and denominator for both partial fractions with what I need to to make the denominator look the same as the left side right there. So I can then say, okay, 1 over u minus 1 times u plus 1 can be written as a over u minus 1 like this, and then plus b over u plus 1, and again I leave myself some room because I'm going to multiply both the top and the bottom, numerator and denominator, by what I need to, and this would be a plus 1 times uh, u plus 1, and here this becomes times u minus 1 and u minus 1. Again, if I get rid of these, if I cancel those out, I end up back with what I started with over there. But notice, my denominators now are the same as what I have over here, so I can write all over a common denominator. And so I can write that 1 over u minus 1 times u plus 1 is equal to, if I multiply this out, I get uh, a times u plus a plus b times u minus b all divided over u minus 1 times u plus 1. And here you can see that the denominators are indeed the same, which means that the numerators must be equal. Now, I don't have any u terms in the left side. That means au plus bu have to be equal to 0 or a plus b must equal 0. But I do have a constant term, which means that a minus b, which are the two constant terms in the numerator there, must equal 1 over here. So a minus b so equals 1. Let's, let me use the first equation right here to solve for a in terms of b. So a equals minus b. That's better. And then I plug that back into this equation to actually solve for b and then coming back to a. So we have a is minus b, so minus b minus b equals 1, minus 2b equals 1, or b is equal to minus 1 half. Well, if b is equal to minus 1 half, then a is a negative of that, so a equals positive 1 half. So now I have both the constants a and b, so I can go ahead and plug that in there, and I can then come over here and integrate this. So this would be equal to the integral of the two partial fractions. The first one is a divided by u minus 1, and a is 1 half. So it's 1 half divided by u minus 1 du, uh, plus, and actually I'm going to make that a minus, because when I plug in the b, it's a minus, so it's minus the integral of 1 half times the natural law of, I'm not ready to integrate, time uh, divided by u plus 1, and okay. So I need a du there. Now these are easy to integrate. 
is simply take the natural log, so this is equal to 1 half times the natural log of u minus 1 uh, minus 1 half times the natural log of u plus 1 and plus a constant of integration. And of course I can factor out a 1 half and I can go ahead and combine those two. So this is equal to 1 half times the natural log of u minus 1 divided by u plus 1 plus a constant of integration. Of course, we didn't start off with using the first place. We started off with an exponential form of the integral. And remember that u was equal to e to the x. So if I now replace that back in here, I can say, well, this is equal to 1 half times the natural log of, instead of u, I write what u is equal to. That would be e to the x minus 1 divided by e to the x plus 1 plus a constant of integration. And there, that is the integral the solution to the integral that I ended up, that I started with in the first place. So the solution of this integral is equal to that, but notice we first made the substitution, and then we went ahead and used the technique of partial fractions to come up with the right solution. And that's how we do that.